Welcome to another comparison video. In this video I'll be comparing the 1985 combat versions of Megadeth's Killing Is My Business and Business Is Good CD and vinyl here. We'll be comparing the two. This is just a, like a talkie type video. Most people or some of my viewers in the past saw videos like this like that I did with um, the album retrospective videos and they would say why talk about it when you can just um, why talk about the audio quality of a certain, you know, uh, artist's catalog or, uh, rather than just compare it with the audio. Um, and I can't because I don't have the software for that. I never have had the software. And I like to talk about things. That's just what I do. So I am absolutely positive these are the original pressings of these two albums here. Um, and they both sound great. The vinyl sounds just absolutely fantastic. This is, in some fans' eyes, not the best versions of this album. And it, in a small way, it's not. Um, but the vinyl sounds super clear. Just great clarity here. Obviously, this album was recorded on tape for a meager uh, $4,000. The whole session cost that uh, much uh, money. Uh, the band had was given eight thousand dollars to make the album uh spent half that on food and drugs and booze <clears throat> um but let's talk about the vinyl first i mean can we'll just continue to compare the two this does have a a great sound to it it's obviously you know c d quality especially for nineteen eighty five um it doesn't sound bad my copy does not have the original case, nor does it have uh, the original uh, tray due to the fact that it was pretty, the case was pretty scratched up and the uh, CD tray itself was pretty grayed, so I thought, hey, I'll replace it and, and did. Um, in comparison to the vinyl, you don't get that uh, image on the back of the original CD and as a matter of fact I've only seen it on the Music for Nations uh, CD you, s you get the same background that you get um, I believe on on this uh, vinyl copy um, yeah with this you also get the the insert page which is uh, once again not present there's no image on the booklet if I'm mistaken not mistaken there's no yeah it's just the reprinted lyrics that are on the insert sheet and the vinyl and a black and white image of the cover for some odd reason that's really really strange um, uh, and I do have the music for nation CD which that does sound a little bit better than this um, and I have previewed the I have listened to every almost every track on the 2018 um, mp3 version of the album it does have a totally reworked cover but it is an homage to this great album I mean you can't die I mean tunes like last rites love to death the title track I mean skull beneath the skin that has just a killer shredding uh, intro to it these boots which was a cover song Rattlehead, Looking Down the Cross, and Mechanics. Some copies of this don't have these boots on it. Um, both of my copies do. Um, maybe the Music for Nations doesn't have these boots on it. I'm not, I don't remember exactly because I haven't pulled that CD out in quite a while. Um, but in comparing the two, yeah, I mean, the vinyl does have better sound. Uh, the, the, I even have the original tape, or maybe the uh, Sony released uh, tape. But it still has the original um, this the original mastering on it, so there's not much difference um, between the tape and these two uh, versions. But um, the price of this guy has gone up. The CD I don't know because I haven't looked for it. I mean, sorry, I really don't know about the CD since I haven't looked for it because there's no need to. I mean. Um, but yeah, if you're able to, if you come across either of these or even the original tape or even the, um, uh, later release of the original, uh, tape, 
pick it up. I mean, they're not, I doubt they're really scarce. I mean, I was able to find the tape no problem at my local record shop about, mm, about four or five years ago. Um, but yeah, as far as the, I'll talk more about the sound. I mean, it's kind of low budget sound, but it does have a nice crisp detail to everything. The guitars, um, the drums. I think the only thing that really suffers here is kind of buried in the mix, which is the vocals. <coughs> um, those have been, uh, so to say, spruced up for the 2018 remaster of this. And I will review that in full in another video. I may buy the CD. I uh, definitely won't buy it with the vinyl because I don't need it. Um, oh, and I also have the Music for Nations um, vinyl of this album. Same cover, different mastering. Uh, and that one is a gatefold uh, double disc. This is a single disc. But, um, yeah, and comparing the two, I mean, even the image, it's slightly... Looks like it might be slightly darker than the vinyl image here. Um, this is more red and I, and I know it may not show up on the camera and this is more pink which is very interesting I mean <laughs> uh, I, I actually like the reworked cover that came out um, last year there's also another reworked cover that they did um, that was a 3d image that's for the 2002 remix remaster I'd have to say the 2018 remaster is superior to all even including these two guys these are <clears throat> I have these because these were the best sounding versions of the album uh, but the but this guy yeah like I said four or five years ago him I bought probably around this uh, almost around the same time excuse me um, I mean the image is laughable by today's standards even Dave Mustaine said in the bands uh, behind the music on VH1 he said this was like you know them putting a fake skull with uh, pickles and ketchup on it I mean it was silly and when he saw the finished cover back in 1985 he he said this is not what I uh, this is not the cover that I wanted but they had to go with it because uh, the record was going to be released and they I don't even think they had any money to to redo the cover so it remained that this way for years um, I believe Capital possibly re-released the album, or maybe Sony did, or a division of Sony Music. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is pretty raw thrash metal. This is the album that started thrash metal, um, so to speak. You know, after this came uh, Slayer and uh, Anthrax and other bands like that. I mean, Metallica came along too. I mean, obviously Dave was kicked out of Metallica. Um, and you had Motor, or not Motorhead, uh, some other bands, uh, the big four, that are part of the big four, um, uh, but yeah, this is MX801, and the catalog number on this guy is, wow, hopefully I can see it before I run out of time, I don't know. Eight eight five six one eight zero five. There you go. This might have the same numbers. Uh, yep, this is MX eight fifteen. Mm, yeah, same thing on this guy. So that is my comparison video, guys. If you ever see these in the wild once again, I would highly recommend you pick them up. These these albums. Or these versions of the album have original sound to them, and that's what most fans uh, go for. Either that, or they go for 2002 remix or the 2018 remix remaster, which is superior to every other version, in my opinion. If you're looking for something like a totally revamped, updated version of the album, um, they, and they did re-record these boots for that particular release. Uh, so once again, that's my review, guys. I do thank you very much for watching. I look forward to more videos like this in the future.